Hello. And welcome back again. We are continuing our uh, Dwarf Fortress series now. And this time, actual gameplay is to be expected. So we're going back to Imushlerates, or uh, fresh uh, embark in the land of Usnubuzon <laughs> in the year 126. Alright, I tap those uh, the screen like that, so uh, we should have a better view of stuff. And first thing we need to do is check out what's around here. This here is a brook. You can, it's basically a river you can walk top of, in top of. You can get wa fresh water and stuff from it, and fish. Um, going layers up with my. Um, Uh, appropriate keys here. Checking how long these uh, hills are. Pretty long. I think we're gonna carve out into the hillside here. I'm gonna try and find a nice central location where there's. Uh, thinking around here actually. Would be nice. Perhaps. Yeah, we have plenty of space here, so we'll carve out around here. K is to look around. So these are trees, Achaea, this grass just here. Those are our dwarves down here, our wagon here, stuff down here, a pig, a turkey, a dog, so, so on and so forth. And these are slopes, basically, which allow you to go to up, upper uh, places. And um, this here is uh, unrevealed uh, ground, basically underground. As you can see here, inside dark subterranean. So first of all, I check our uh, nobles from the end key. Kib Olinaren is our expedition leader, and I think I'm going to uh, rename him. Just done by pressing. Uh, oh, sorry. Status. Customize. <coughs> customize nickname. New Bessa. Enter and then P to customize his professional name, and he will be our overseer. That font really uh, bugs me because it uh, kind of screws the writing up. Oh well. And so yeah, if you want to be dwarf, that is, if you want a dwarf named after you, um, give me a comment on that. You can even ask for a specific dwarf of the original seven, or just some migrant, or just some guy from the original seven. I'll probably gi be giving this all unique job titles, so I don't lose them. I like to keep track of the original seven. So, sort of uh, send him a little fat value. Now, before we start carving into the mountain side, I'm going to remove upstairs and ramps from the D designation screen with the Z and paint this area. And now you see that these are marked for removal. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get our woodcutter to cut some wood for us. Um, with the T command, like that, and then we're gonna assign our first stockpile. Now this is done by pressing P, and we have readily available um, a wood option from we, and I'll place it nice and close to the entrance. Doesn't need to be too big, just to uh, just so you can uh, get a good stockpile of wood ready uh, as early as possible. Our uh, 
<coughs> our woodcutter slash farmer is there cutting wood and these guys are just milling around our wagon which is our first meeting point and now as long as soon as you get a good cave going on you want to start getting stockpiles up and setting a disassembling that uh, wagon and getting your dwarves inside and uh, I think this place looks nice. I'm gonna go for a three wide corridor at first. Uh, you may wanna dig a one wide corridor actually because that, um, that helps you uh, defend it better. And make sure that you get make it pretty long so you can add stuff to it later. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's. I think I'm gonna add the ballista and such later. So I think we'll just dig it here, <laughs> and after that there will be a, a smaller corridor. Actually, um, we're gonna make that a three wide too, because wagons from traders can only fit through three wide corridor corridors minimum and so one two three four five I think and uh, then another five one two three four five stick that and now our miners are going to do that job. In this game you don't directly command your dwarves, uh, unless they're a mili militia. And speaking of which, we wanna assign a militia commander. Let's see here. Our, yeah, Saxul Amai Amasimush is our military guy. We'll have to make him a Uniform and stuff pretty soon. That will be a learning experience as well for you. Perhaps. And Chief Medical Dwarf will be. Farmer. That's strange. Uh, must be because he has. Um... Let's see here. Where is that guy? Mm, militia. Oh, there. What was he? A farmer. Oh, this guy. Must be because he has this brewer and cook. Which are, I suppose, agricultural uh, skills. And so our dwarves are stacking up the wood there. Meanwhile, our overseer and our miner are mining away. Mining is a skill that skills are pretty uh, fast as well. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little cough. And let's just uh, wait for these guys to dig that. Uh, now, pressing U, you can weave all these different units on the site. We don't need to assign pastures to these guys, but we might as well, so they don't wander off. And we have peregrine, falcon, artwork, and an eagle. What an orc. A small nocturnal mammal, it has a long tongue with which to eat, with which to eat insects. So these are not dangerous, I don't think. At least to our dwarves. Uh, we're gonna zone a pasture there, here for the time being. Now pressing N, it's assigned as a pasture and we'll also press T to get it into animal training as well. Pressi pressing uh, big N, we can uh, assign our livestock there. Uh, we also had this pack animals that came, came with the wagon. It's important that you give them a pasture at, at the very least. X esque done, and now our dwarves should haul our animals there. Yep. And now, 
we want to um, press Z go into animals I think we have our um, trainable and trained animals listed here and we want to assign these dogs into war training by, by pressing W war dogs make better <laughs> war dogs so they'll help you defend as well and they'll follow their trainer automatically and or you can assign them to dwarves so now our militia commander will also always have these freshly trained animals with him now he should be training them and soon we'll get a no a uh, message about that Let's see our food we don't have a bookkeeper yet so we don't fully know what we have here <clears throat> however by checking kitchen we can see that yeah now we don't want them to cook with ale and drinks so we put these guy these things into we read it to see using uh, cooking using C and it's important you don't cook seeds either like that they can eat the plump helmets raw so we're gonna save them for that and for brewing an animal has become a stray war dog like that that's a transformation um, annunciation announcement yeah <clears throat> Pressing R gives you a report on combat. We have none. And, uh, yeah. Now we'll carve out the. <coughs> actual. Our first proper room, I think. We'll make it um, five by five, I think. No, no. Let's make it ten by ten, so we have a nice entrance area. So uh, can actually. We'll make it nine. We'll make it nine by nine then, because I want everything to be nice and symmetric. So we'll need four here four here one two three four nine six seven eight nine and that will be our entrance area pressing resume <coughs> and they should start carving it out and it looks like we have uh, more time to chop down trees as well so let's go ahead, ahead and do it <coughs> there's our uh, commander wearing anything any weapons yet no so now we'll go into the military screen and create a squad we need a military commander before we can assign a squad by the way Metal armor, the crystalline omens <laughs> is the squad's name. All right. Then we'll press press supplies. We don't want them to carry anything yet, so they don't hog it up. They don't even have anything carry stuff with either. And uh, let's see what this uniform has. Metal armor has. Uh, that that does for now. We don't need to. We don't have <laughs> that much stuff anyway, so we don't really have to um, pay too much much attention yet. We just want to make sure that this guy wears some weapons and it gets his shield up, shield going. <coughs> Our uh, entrance hall is soon ready, and it's ready. We again assign a area, and we 
want this thing to be a meeting area. Now our dwarves should come inside. And then we'll also make this a general stockpile for now. Uh, custom settings, T. Enable food. Uh, not animals. Then we'll also need... Um, Probably we're gonna need finished goods, cloth, weapons and trap components, armor, and I think that's it. Uh, later on, we we're gonna even erase that uh, completely, perhaps, but and then we of of course we need to actually place that storage from the sea <clears throat> and now our dwarves should start hauling stuff back there yep, everything seems to be alright and they did um, because you can get into serious trouble if you stockpile seeds in barrels I've seen and so on and you you wanna have specialized stockpiles later on in the game I'm gonna cut these annoying threes out of the way as well <coughs> and maybe we could also order our farmer to gather some plants these little bushes are usable plants either for food or for crafting or both so we'll try and see what we get helps you uh, really helps you survive in the early game um, these aren't getting really hauled away yet that's because of course we have so little workforce currently <coughs> you wanna get your stuff inside as soon as possible you don't know what sort of nasties may come and try to steal it or kill your dwarves that are milling around. <coughs> so everything's turning up nicely in... Uh, what was the name? Let's see. Um, dyke Tangles. Dyke Tangles. What does Tyke mean? <laughs> I don't even know that. Hopefully it's something really cool. <clears throat> but the name uh, sounds pretty dwarfish, at least when it's not translated. So that's that's cool. Also, uh, make sure that nothing pops up too close to our entrance, so I can get a fair warning. Because you never know what may quickly, you know roll over the hills. <laughs> I had there were hyenas here. And God save us if there's actually uh, giant hyenas. I think those guys actually hunt... Ooh, gazelles! We could actually... do with hunting a couple of these. I think. Let's see if we can. This is also a nice tutorial to you how <coughs> how to send your militia militia out. So we go to S, uh, select A for crystalline omens, and attack. Then we'll select from list and uh, B Z D E F G H I G. I'm not <laughs> sure if our Guy's gonna actually catch these, but we'll try. If he gets one or two killed, that's good. We can butcher them then by building something out outside here. Okay, I think we'll want to continue digging now. <coughs> Before anything else, we're gonna carve out the uh, trade depot. 
gonna have to leave some room for expansion there. So... I think the uh, doorway will be here. We'll make it 7x7, seven seven, I think. Yeah, that fits nicely. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think... Whoops, sorry. I think the depot is... 5x5. Uh, five five. And then we'll start carving out actual rooms here. We'll make a grand hall here. It's not that grand, probably, but should suit our needs. And I think we'll make this large. Our first rooms are getting carved out now. Is our military dwarf actually. Yeah, he has both of them. But he's also carrying a, uh, I think he's carrying a barrel. No, he dropped it, good. He also has his dogs to help him. What's this? A lungfish. Oh, a lungfish. Lungfish. Oh yeah, they, they can walk on ground, I guess. And our dwarf is trying to chase these guys down. Not <laughs> going, going too well. Actually, well, at least he's getting some training. We'll see the combat logs later to see if he's actually done anything. Now, trade depot. The room is now carved out. So. Now we want to <clears throat> get our first staircase down. And that should be good. To the down uh, lower levels. And I think we'll cut it there once I've done that. We have our fortress set up, we don't have any th farming or, or industry set up yet, but we have a sufficiently safe hole to hole up in, and a stockpile or two. <coughs> What's this? Dry needle grass. So this, I guess that that's <laughs> the actual savanna part of this. It has start raining. Uh, rain isn't bad. It kinda replenishes our uh, waters here. I don't know if they actually dried out, but in the summer they will. This is probably either spring or 26th granite 126. Probably, um, probably just before autumn or autumn. Don't, not sure, but I don't think that's the hottest time of the year, but when it's at the hottest, this, these ponds may even dry out completely and the rain replenishes it. The downside is that dwarves can get a little crampy when they get uh, wet by a rain. Of course we could have brought a crossbow with us, but we can make them out of bone or wood pretty soon. And even bolts, and I think we also have a quiver or two. Let's see. So crutches, pigtail seeds, grill splints. I think we have a couple of quivers somewhere, so we can hunt with those. And much better than this guy just running after <laughs> uh, gazelles with his sword. If he gets ki one, ki even one, that's gonna feed us pretty pretty well. And so we're having some berries picked. And now it's time to go lower. 
And that's done by digging a... Let's see. A downward stairway, which is J. And we'll make a nice... Uh, wide. Because you generally want your corridors to be wide enough for multiple dwarves to go around and animals and stuff. Because that, that really speeds up their movement. Like that. And we have found Kaolanites. I don't know if that's... I can't remember if that's actually any good. And using you, we're building a up ladder. And now our miners and other guys can get down here. Then we'll dig a small entrance area. Uh, of which we can branch out rooms and other staircases and stuff. I think we'll now assign this this room to be our meeting room. No, not pen or pasture, it's meeting area. And then we'll X out this this room so our dwarves go even inner. And uh, yeah, everything's running smoothly. We still have some stuff here. Uh, this thing should get hauled. Maybe we have to remove this building, which is needs carpentry. So our carpenter guy should go and do that. And our <laughs> unlucky military military commander hasn't catch up with a gazelle yet. So I think we'll... I don't think he's gonna. Gazelles are pretty fast. So let's get him back to work. <clears throat> it never hurts to try. You have struck a bituminous coal. Alright! That's really good. That's really good. And once we carve this room out... I think we can call it there. We're... Uh, We've uh, got a lot of stuff done, and this video won't be as long as the first one. And we also found tetrahedrite, which is ore for copper, which is good for crafts and other stuff as well. And so yeah, don't forget if you want to be dwarfed, give me a message, and um, I'll see you next time.